In this video, you will learn how I turn this really cool but ordinary photo into this amazing photo manipulation that you can see here on the screen. So, I took two photos in a forest and on one you can see myself just as a reference for the robot and I place that photo in a blender and start posing the robot for the story of this photo manipulation. By the way, I made this robot for my previous photo manipulation and you can check out that video if you like. I will leave the link down there in the description. The story behind this photo manipulation is that the robot that I already made in my workshop in a previous episode, now it's finally completed and my wife took it for a walk in the forest to show him a little bit the place and they saw the squirrel and she's pointing to that squirrel, you will see that later. The beauty of making your own HDRI maps is that you can have all the reflections from the environment on the 3D model. You can see on the legs and robot arms, they are all authentic reflections. Here you can see I'm changing the uh, practically summertime to autumn time in Adobe Camera. It's really simple and easy trick. I did it so many times and also I have a tutorial that I will link down there in the description how you can do that using a new Adobe point color that is in camera and Lightroom, that's amazing. And also I'm playing here a little bit with some um, lights, like light is coming through the leaves and making some shadows on the models here. And uh, I'm using some silhouette of tree of leaves and just basically using curves and masks making that. It's really simple and easy trick and it can make the photo a little bit more interesting and more alive. Here I'm adding a sci-fi street lamp that I made in Blender. It was really simple and easy modeling part. Everything is made straight from a cube, just a little bit of extrusion, inset, extrusion and so on and so forth. And now I'm using a grass brush from Photoshop, a legacy a library and just blending it a little bit better with the environment. And you see this squirrel right here. Uh, it was really nice pose and I decided to just put it right there and use Puppet Warp tool to change the position of the tail to better blend on this street light. And uh, later I decided to change the design of the street light. We see that now I'm adding the shadow. It's really simple and easy process. Just a new layer below the squiller, squiller, <laughs> squirrel in the multiply blending mode and using the same color that the pillar is, this uh, part of the street lamp, lamp and basically making the shadow shape. Then I use color balance adjustment layer to make the squirrel a little bit more orangey because I like it that way and uh, added a little bit more of light leak by using a new layer in the linear dodge blending mode and just a little bit of bluish tone and paint over the squirrel, so that's it. I also added this bridge in the background and did the same trick with shadows and lights through the leaves that I did with the robot and the model. And then I went back to the blender and reshaped the street light because I didn't like the shape of the original one a lot, but I did a new one with the new materials. And then again, back into Photoshop and changed the background uh, using a little bit more of that point color new tool and basically added a little bit more variety of different tones in the autumn color. So it's really cool that I love that tool. It's, it's so much easier to tweak and select certain colors in Photoshop than before and especially in Lightroom. So here I'm making a little bit more smoke, like there is a leak on the pipe here. And this is just for making a better separation between the models and the background. And in that way, everything is much nicer. Then suddenly a new idea pop into my mind and that's hmm, how would this look like if this is a night scene? And this is just a sketch, I turn everything into a blue night kind of scene and just added a light just for demonstration purposes to see if I like this. And yeah, it turned out that I actually like it because more light will come uh, to the scene and everything will be more interesting. So now I went back to the blender and changed the position of certain elements here and there and also 
added the flashlight to the robot's hand, so he's basically holding flashlight and pointing towards the squirrel, and that would be even more interesting in the overall composition, so I went back to camera up and play with the exposure and the colors and make, made a night scene, and then you can see the rest basically is just painting back some lights to make the scene more interesting and more believable and adding a few more elements that you will see soon. And now it's time to add the light beam from the street light and for that I'm using a pen tool making the shape of the light beam and just a simple gradient and basically blur it a little bit, change the color and that's it. In the same way I added the light beam on the robot's flashlight. Okay, now it's time to add a little bit more elements like the rabbit here in the front. I like to add this kind of details, he will be out of the focus or blurred out obviously a little bit darker using exposure and change the color using a color balance tool and then just by using masks, tweaking the lights on the rabbit to blend it with the overall scene. Now it's time for my secret spice here and that's Oniric, amazing plugin for adding realistic glow in Photoshop and you can find it on compositenation.com, you can find the link down there in the description. Okay, now back to Blender, I'm making a new design of a street light that is on the left side of the image and I like this version much better, I didn't like the previous one but this is why I made another one, really simple and easy, light with a light bulb and that's it. Also a little bit more details to the scene, I wanted to add small insects that are attracted by the lights and you can see I'm adding here on every street lamp with a little bit of tweaking so they are not identical. Finally, after a color grading and a little bit more tweaking in Photoshop, this is a final result. I hope you like this artwork and the story behind it. And if you like this one, for sure you will like the first episode. If you didn't watch it out, check it out because it's about how I created this robot and that first photo manipulation. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>